So we got the voltmeter, we're gonna check the battery voltage. We're gonna set it on the charger, see if we can't resurrect it. Get it connected over here. 10.3. So this is the original battery. And it's showing we are at 79% on the battery, so. All right, so we put the old battery back in and we tested it with the key on, testing for voltage. Um, while I've got it on here, it's showing that I've got 12 volts, but then once I take the charger off, it shows 12 volts, but then I turn the key on, we're still dead. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the battery out of this ATV and stick it in and see can't just get it going with this battery because I think that battery is just toast. All right, just for kicks here, I'm going to test both batteries. Negative to positive. See, it's showing 12.6 there. And this one I know is good. It's showing 12.79. So let's throw in the good battery and see what happens. Got our new battery plugged in, tightened down, 12.78 there. I wanna see what happens up here on the gauge because it was doing some weird stuff. Yep, we've got that there. Now I wanna see what it does when I'm starting it. So I think that's it, just need a new battery in this one. So there we have it. I think grab a new battery and throw it in there and see how it goes. All right, there we have it. I think we've solved the problem. We just need to get a new battery for it if you're having this problem with your battery go get it load tested just to make sure um that would be the best recommendation i can give if you're having any battery problems you think it's electrical or anything go get your battery load tested first because that'll give you a good indication of whether your battery's good or not and you need to replace it so what does it do it shows 12 volts and then i had the and when you kick it Yeah, it, I don't think it should drop that far. The ohms test good on the stator. We're getting charged back from the alternator. The regulator seems to be working good. I think we'll just get a new battery.